Sorry to have kept you all waiting, but I'm over there, there at a luncheon giving away the first medals of the arts. Ah, good. That you fellows passed the program a couple of years ago. Hi, how are you? Good. Robin Allen, yes. Mr. President, how are you? Just fine. Mr. President, Tim Allen. Good to see you. Well, come in. Well, I've heard a rumor that something's coming up on the hill having to do with Nicaragua. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't believe what you're doing. <laughs> Well, let me just say here to get started, but then I know that many of you have concerns and all, and I'd like to hear them. I'd like to see if I couldn't find some answers uh, for those concerns. Uh, the reason many of our people aren't here uh, today is they're up in the Hill and the Senate is working. Uh, we've had two versions, a, a Senate Democratic and a Senate Republican version, and they're not all that far apart. And we're trying to come together in the few places that we are apart so that we can come forth with something. Basically, our idea was born of the conference effort March 1st and their offer to lay down their arms, have a ceasefire, and come in and negotiate a peaceful resolution within the country. And this is what we started off with on that. We've asked them to hold that offer open until June 1st while we see if we can't get the Sandinistas to come along. We've got the support of the Condora groups. Uh, others, the neighboring countries, the heads of state of Costa Rica and Honduras, Salvador. Matter of fact, Duarte said that this was the right idea at the right time. And to see if they couldn't negotiate, uh, really a restoration of the ideals and the goals that set up the revolution to begin with. Now, I think there's been a great program of disinformation. As a matter of fact, there's been a very sophisticated and well-funded program uh, that's created uh, false images about this. There is no question but that the Sandinistas stole the revolution, got rid of, as best they could, of some of their partners in that revolution, and have set up a totalitarian state. And it's every bit the pattern of Cuba. Just the other day, they arrested uh, 10 or 11, we're a little unsure as to whether it's one or the other number. Uh, people arrested them as political prisoners and then arrested about 100 of their family members to further put pressure on them. And then a kind of significant, they put him in dark and they're in very highly heated cells, very debilitating heat. And then, in the darkness and the heat, they further disorient them by the meals. Like, for example, it'll be 12 hours between the meals. And then the next meal will come in two hours, so that they lose their sense of time and presence and where they are and everything. Now, that was a practice that, as far as I know, unless you heard it someplace else, was originated by Castro in Cuba. We've had some further information just Recently, the uh, I'm blocking the light. Get down, folks. Yeah. Usually, it's kind of like me yeah. to help me look at the guy. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to ask you to read some. All right. I'm not suggesting violence. I do think, however, that a little rough yeah. enough wouldn't hurt them. And so, look this way. Uh, 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 I'll look over at you. Thank you. Uh, how about looking over here? All right. Okay. Thank you. There's a few of you on my good side. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Mourinho. Troopers Coalition, first line of defense in America. I did you a little favor today, sir. I didn't bring Minnesota and Washington, D.C. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we're here. Well, well, I want to thank you all for being here and apologize for being a little late, but I found that every time that some part of my day early begins with meetings with congressmen, I wind up behind schedule all day. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, on behalf of the National Troopers Coalition, a testimonial to Ronald Wilson Reagan, President, United States of America, dedicated patron of law enforcement, zealous defender of liberty, relentless adversary of crime, and proud restorer of patriotism. Presented April 25th, 1985 by the National Troopers Coalition. Two yes, seconds, we'll get you right back and get that boats and we'll get that budget passed. <laughs> First row, please, please, right here, sir. Everyone looking right here. represents the four border states, Maine, Florida, California, and Alaska, four end states. If I could, I'd get a big plaque with a tractor trailer with all the patches on it. <laughs> I, uh, I probably shouldn't say this, maybe someone listening here, but it's a small lad violating the fire cloud tracker laws in my state. <laughs> the gentleman pulled up in a car and told me to get in. And uh, I refused. Until <laughs> <laughs> he showed me some credentials. And then I got in. And then I made the mistake of saying, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> it cost my father $14.85. I'm going to break. From then on, I've been on your side. <laughs> <laughs> 